think we should do a vlog to make it look like we're doing something. Yeah, let's do a vlog so people think we actually do something when we're away filming. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> You should have rigged this last night, Owen. Oh, yeah. It doesn't, doesn't, fit, doesn't fit in the bag. I've just been handed one of these little microphone things, so I look cool. I don't think it makes me look cool. It makes me look it's like a shaving brush. It's not even plugged in. Hey everyone, we have made it to Girona. We're at the hotel and today's going to be our first day shooting. Yeah, we're going to film at the MIC tournament, which is for young academy players from all the best teams around the world. And we're going to be filming uh, the US teams that have come, who are a bit of an all-stars team. So we're looking forward to seeing how they get on and yeah. shoot some really exciting action-packed footage. And uh, yeah, so we're off to Figueres. Figueres. So, uh, first we've got to get the car out of the car park, which yes, I'm all worried about. Fun. We can't wait to film that. Um, yeah, but we're excited for the day, so we're gonna do it. We'll report back shortly. A bit of gear. Bit of babs. Babs with the gear. No, it's because we've forgotten all our tripods. No, we haven't. Don't. Yeah. Like, which way does it want me to go? The off. I love how people just pull out its ace. We've arrived at the first location and um, we're definitely not lost. First day, first pitch. We've arrived at location one and we've set up only to find out that we're about two hours too soon. There's, this is James, by the way. Why are Hi you everyone. here, James? So I'm here to operate the camera on the shoot along with Mr. Matt here. Oh. So camera-wise, we're going with a Sony FX6, which is ideal for this sort of project. It's got really good autofocus, doesn't weigh a huge amount. You can use these nice Sony lenses that are, again, super fast autofocus, good range, don't weigh an awful lot, and give you a nice, beautiful look. So this is the setup we're using here. Got an external monitor attached to the top to make it a little bit easier to see what we're doing. And then sound wise, we're running a shotgun mic that's just on the floor. I'll get it, I'll get it. On a boom pole, straight in. We've got a little wind jammer on, so even if it's a bit windy, we should get a nice, beautiful sound of whoever we're interviewing. And, and, we, and we brought some other cameras with us as well. We've got a drone. Yes, yeah, so we've got a drone, and this little backpack that we're going to get some establishing shots with. We've got another <gasps> small camera in the Peli case. I'll show you what we got in. Oh, this is exciting. This is cool. So we've got lav mics here, another small camera that we can mount to the gimbal, headphones monitoring sound. A bit of a longer lens for the football action uh, and everything we could need to get going. We just need some people to film now. Just give us something to film. I'm sad. Can we get a coffee? Oh. As you can see, we're still waiting. Oh, that's nice. Uh, we're still waiting. Owen, why are you even here? So I'm here to do uh, stills for the what we're filming um, in case they need images for social media, website, um, bits for like that. More things for them to add to the story, basically. We're setting up for interviews, so we've just found a location now. We're just waiting for people to come. So what are these cameras you're using? So what, what do you I'm, use? I use Sony, so I'm using Sony cameras at the moment. So the, the lens I'm gonna use, yeah, that one for the, the interview shot, so more like a portrait lens, so I'm using a 50 mil. Um, shooting at 1.4, so I've got a lot of separation uh, with the background. And then I've got a zoom lens as well, which I'm going to be using later on for the sports, which is there. That's 35 to 150, should give me enough reach. And I've got a super wide lens, which we, we can get established. To establishing, establishing, can't say it. It's like we're in gyro and we're again. We're, we're good to go, really. We just need some football teams. And some coffee. And some coffee. To the belly. Uh, two, two teams playing football now and you cannot hear anything because we're just shouting at each other. We're not trying to film the whole match, we're just doing like little bits just to kind of like try and grab little action that we can cut together in a sizzle. First game finished 3-2 by the way. Tom's going to be in it. This is Tom. This is Tom everyone and he's stolen my coat. We know oh shit, I just walked in a puddle. <laughs> game one happened. It was a close game in the end. The US pulled it back to 3-2. Uh, Unfortunately, not enough to get a win. We're, we're trying to pick off shots, uh, sort of close-ups, so we can cut it into a sort of fast-paced sizzle, which means that we want more close-up stuff than uh, wide stuff. It's not the most ideal environment to film in.
and it's getting cold now as well. It's getting chilly. And as I said before, Tom's nicked my coat. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not gonna. <laughs> I got stuck. Oh my God, at my age, you need to lie down. Tom is talking to the coach of the American side, which means uh, I'm, well, I'm never getting my coat, basically. Tom's just doing his chatty bit. Yeah. Take stuff to the car now, and then we've got one more match to film, and that's it. Home, bed. The plan is we're getting up bloody early, which is not going to suit you, Owen. Just so you know. Big breakfast, nice. followed by drive to Monell's, okay. followed by more days of football. Uh, two games tomorrow, under 14s, US teams, seeing how they get on against the best in the world. Well, it's day two, we should say, and we're going to a place called Monel's. We really want to get some sort of close-up dynamic action shots. <laughs> Got to be careful not to overshoot. So we're going to try having two cameras today just to kind of increase our chances of grabbing those moments, those action-packed moments that will work in the cup. Yeah, same sort of situation, but yeah, we've got a few games, so hopefully we'll see some action today. James, so what's the difference between yesterday and today's bit of filming? So today, in, in the hope of saving ourselves filming lots of unnecessary shots, we've turned something on uh, called pre-record. So what this means is that when we press record, it will save past five seconds, or even even second, 30 seconds. So it means we can just follow the action and then when we see something good happen, like a goal or an interesting tackle, we just hit, hit the record button and we know we've got that action saved and we can just completely discard all the falling stuff in between. Time I go for a shot, it's just a gamble. It's so well, as long as it's what you get works, you don't need to be like. Last day, we just filmed the last match, and we're going to get some final interviews with a couple of the players. We just ended up getting a shoe through the scene. What was that? James decided that shoes off if you ate menu. It's been a good trip. Um, this hopefully will be the last bit of work we actually have to do, but chances. Probably we're gonna do these interviews and then we're gonna go back and do some editing. And the sun's coming out though again, which is nice. I put shorts on today, legs out. James is the only, oh, here he goes. This is sort of like the most decorated vlog I think I've ever seen. And, uh, there's a big crowd for this one actually. It were quite noisy, they have a drum and a loud hailer, which is uh, more than what we've had at any other game. So that's gonna ruin the interviews, isn't it? So, so tell, us, tell us about the coach. Uh, <laughs> That's the update from Team ABF here, out here in beautiful Catalonia for the Mick tournament. We, we, we kept calling it the MIC tournament, but everybody called it the Mick. So, anyway, peace. To the belly.